Okay, y'all. Been a while since you've seen this little guy. This is the Echo 4310. And I just used it to just cut this chunk of wood, really, is all I did. Um, for some testing. Because I've got to get my, cha my chains good and sharp before saw fest. Because out of the box ain't going to cut it. This right here still has out of the box, um, what is it, the SP33 from Husqvarna. So it's a double raker safety chain. It's also semi chisel. It's probably not going to cut very fast at all. But I just, it's been a long time since we've seen this on the channel. And we're going to go ahead and do a test cut with it. I've got four saws here that I'm going to do test cuts with. And uh, we'll see how we do. Cold. Probably need to tune it too, but. It's cooler weather. It needs, uh, needs more fuel to it, but. There we go. Now, 43 cc's. Meet 42 cc's. And here's my wild thing for the competition. Now, this little guy right here runs good, uh, but it does have some issues. I went too far with porting it. Uh, took too much off the base. I shouldn't have taken anything off of the off of the floor of the exhaust. And so it, it free ports a little bit, um, which is not good. But I have a feeling that I'm going to blow this cylinder at Sawfest because I got a little something else cooking that I ain't told nobody about and I ain't going to tell nobody about till we get there. And uh, um, I'm not going to try anything at all until I get there. And uh, because if anything bad happens, I want it to happen there. <laughs> Let's see uh, what it'll do. Oh, and I finally got a good chain on it. This is a uh, steel Pico chain, uh, 3 8 low profile. It's fresh out of the box. I've not made a single cut with it yet. Um, and this one right here, I had to buy this online, actually from the, the those guys that make the pilt saws, pilts. And um, anyways, all it is is the Pico chain, but it does not have the double raker set up. Like I said, she runs good. She runs, runs really good. It does have a weird thing every now and then that happens. It seems like it gets uh, spit back or choke up or something like that. And I think that's cause of the uh, the uh, blow the blow by that or not the blow by the uh, free porting that it's doing. But anyways, we'll see. Next up. The Poland 54 cc's, uh, we got a lot of work to do within the next week on this guy. I'm waiting on stuff to come in the mail. But as far as running wise, this is how it's going to run. Everything that I'm going to do to it uh, further is going to be nothing but, uh, what you call it, uh, glamour. I'm going to make it look pretty. And that's it. Uh, but it has a brand new steel RS. 325 chain and um, after I do these cuts I'm going to be taking this and the wild thing and filing them and see if I can get them faster. This thing's got a lot of compression.
That cut that quick, didn't it? <laughs> I am running an eight pin sprocket on here and uh, I haven't ran it since I did the, uh, the little tiny bar on it and the eight pin sprocket and the new chain. I haven't ran it since I got that set up. Boy, it cut through that quick. That's nice. That's, that's really nice. Happy with that. But I mean, I, I know I can hear you guys. Well, it should cut through it quick. What is that? Nine inches of uh, pine? It's probably nine inches. I can measure it. It might be, might be 10, maybe. I don't know. Not important though. This is just for testing purposes. That's all this is. It should get through that fast. This is what races are. I'm, what I'm going to be cutting up there at Sawfest is, uh, with that saw at least, and the wild thing, I think I'm going to be running um, in square cans, nine by nine. And it's going to be soft wood. I, what do they say? The poplar, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean. Now this one right here, if you've seen the video the other day, this is the one that I've already filed and I took the wake, rakers way down. So it should blaze right through this. Especially because this thing pulls some serious RPM and it holds it in the cut. Pretty sure that was faster than Poland. You know, it, I'm not having a hard time with it, but I'm sure that there's probably a lot of people who would have a hard time with it. And that is, why don't I run this in the 50cc class? I don't want to, I want to run the Poland. That's it. <clears throat> now we're gonna take these two, put them in the vise, see if we can get them sharper than they are. Okay, so here we are, back at it. Sharpened up each and every cutter. On this uh, 3.8 low profile, man, it got so smooth. Uh, must have just been the file that I was using, but I mean, I got steel files for, on both of them, so uh, it just got so smooth. So smooth and nice, so it, it seems really sharp. I took four swipes off of each of the each saw off the rakers as well. So let's see. I told you, it runs good. I ain't even gonna tune it. I don't care that much. Uh, you can feel it, it's definitely hungrier chain. I don't know if it cut faster or not. Felt like it did. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Ripping, ripping, ripping. Let's uh, let's try race style here. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna set the high idle. That's why it's already revving up good and everything. As soon as I pull it. 
There we go, get it, get it just, just uh, where the exhaust cracks open. The piston's past top, top dead center and the exhaust is just cracked open. That's where we want to start it. Whew. Woo! Racers ready! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Ah. I'm going to have to do better than that. Three, two, one, go! Let's give it another try. That second cookie would have disqualified me. But the third cookie was paper thin. Three, two, one, go. But what's going on? I didn't want to start. Plenty of gas in there. I'm definitely going to take this guard off for the race. Look at that. I broke a scab open. Let's try this again. Three, two, one, go. Let's try it again. Three, two, one, go. I definitely need to tune it better, don't I? But I'm gonna get a good cut here this time. This is it. Three, two, one, go. All right, we're gonna change things up just a little bit here. This is the way I'm gonna try it now. Three, two, one, go. Sometimes it's faster to go slow. Go slow. Sometimes it's faster to go slow. Cause I learned it from the movie Sniper. No, it wasn't called Sniper. What was it called? With Marky Mark. Ah, I can't remember what it was. Shooter. Shooter. Smooth. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Three, two, one, go. Ah, uh, seems like there's something going on with that. That's the biggest chips I've ever seen a 325 throw. Look at that.
That's good. I think in, in all honesty, I probably went down a little bit too far on, on the rakers on that one. But we're going to go with it. That's the way it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But this wild thing runs great. Yeah, need to slow them both down a little bit. All right, we'll catch you later. Let's just see what this old girl does. Woo. And I haven't taken the records down on that one yet. I was pushing it through. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> 